I want to see everybody get somebody that you love, hold them close, because they there for you. I'm the one there. I'm the one there. A grieving family and hundreds of community members gathering for a vigil for three teenagers killed in what deputies are calling a robbery gone bad. Deborah Tuff live in the newsroom right now and Deb, the shooting now has the community calling for healing and also accountability. That's right, Sheba. At the vigil yesterday evening, no one talked about what happened. Instead, about 300 people returned to the spot where they were gunned down and said they said this isn't how those young boys lives should have ended. Now, Monday, Isaiah Reed, Jaime Hernandez, and Brandon Gresham were gunned down during a botched robbery. That's according to deputies. During the vigil, community leaders call for change. Others grieve trying to understand what happened. But then there's the homeowner, the one deputy said was merely defending himself when the teens approached his home at four in the morning wearing masks. Investigators say one of the teens fired first, then the homeowner returned fire killing all three. Now there were two other people in that home's front yard who saw the shooting. They were interviewed, but what we don't know is what they said until the official report is released, Sheba.